Good morning, everybody. We are closed, but I am up here uh, picking up items to ship off to those who bought on Instagram, Etsy, and eBay. And while I'm here, just let me know my phone will die shortly. I am going to real quick put a coat of paint on the top of this china hutch. We have separated it from the bottom. I can't move the camera. I'm on a very small tripod that's not the usual one I use. So excuse me, I'm gonna put my mask on and I brought my supplies. So why am I doing this? Mostly just to, I don't know why I'm doing this. But anyways, I probably won't be able to see your comments or anything while I'm doing this, but I'm going to quickly put a coat of paint on here. Um, I do have a mask, I've washed my hands. And the mask is not because of the fumes of the paint. The mask is because of coronavirus, but there's no one else here except for Brooklyn who's taking pictures of items to post on Instagram and Etsy and eBay for us to ship out. So just bear with me. Um, anyways, this is a China Hutch and I think I might, I'm either gonna paint the top and the bottom, which is over there, together the same color or I'm gonna do them separately and then put ball feet on this and make this a different display and the bottom becomes a buffet or a dresser or a nightstand or something for your TV. So here we go. I brought three colors. There you go. I brought three colors and I think I'm gonna go with a bold one. I think I'm gonna go with a mermaid tail. Surprise, surprise just because I feel like it. So, this. I should have done this before starting. Again, if it goes off, it's because my phone doesn't have very much stuff left on it, power, whatever that word is I am looking for. I've got coronavirus of, of brain freeze or fog, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so, I've already wiped this down just cleaned it off. You can use white lightning or you can use any cleaning supply you want. I would love to say that you have to buy this or that, but you don't. You can use vinegar with water. You can use Dawn soap. The only thing about Dawn is it sticks really well and so you really got to rinse it down before you paint. We sell this brush. This is the brush I use in all my different lives. This brush, and for those of you who don't know, I've been doing a YouTube for the other side vintage painting that is not live. It's just me uploading after the fact. So this is live. I know, I know. So again, I am just getting this first base coat on. I figure if I have to get down here every other day to pick up stuff to ship off to people, I may as well while I'm here and while we're closed, do a little bit of painting because I can leave my paint supplies on the floor because no one's shopping. Um, I'm in the front gallery. If, for those of you who shop here, you know that's towards the bathrooms. <laughs> People walk through here a lot on a regular day. But now that nobody's coming through here, I can go ahead and do this. And because there's no smells because of the low VOCs, I don't have to worry about hurting anybody's uh, senses and you can do this in your own home hence why I'm doing it inside and not outside I have just moved the top of this china hutch over onto um, two bar stools that it's resting on so bear with me I know I'm blocking the view so it's gonna wiggle a little bit I did not bring any extra supplies like saw horses or rolling racks or anything so we use what we have and you can do that at home too i wish i could zoom in on this i'm so sorry but that's the only way and if i move the camera guess what it's going to lose the live and my phone's about to die anyway so here i am and because this is glass i did not tape it off okay i have the mask on because yes i have it all so you can hear me but again i'm here by myself besides brooklyn who's not in the same room as me She's literally outside. Now when the paint gets a little, uh, this paint's very thick chalk paint. It's not as drippy as some of the others. So when I start to feel it cooling, I just either spray the item or spray my brush. This time I'm gonna spray my brush. I know I'm gonna miss spots. I'm gonna miss spots and I'm going to have spots that I have to go back over. It's gonna take two to three coats. So bear with me. If you're shouting, you missed a spot, I will get to it on the next time around. How is everybody doing today? Is anybody
anybody uh, doing what I'm doing where you get the pollen? I know I said this the other day. You're sensitive to pollen, so you go outside on your porch to enjoy the beautiful weather while we're housebound. And then you start coughing because of pollen. You know, I know you can't see my head, but that's fine. <laughs> um, and then you swear, you swear you've got the corona. Hi, Rita. I can see that. Sorry, I looked over for a second. Thank you for watching. This is not professional as far as my setup with my phone and my little tripod I had here at the store. Nothing is perfect. I was just going to do this without going live, but I thought, hey, I'm here. Why not entertain me with my boringness? Let's see if I can. Okay. If the whole thing falls over, it's because I'm not set up correctly. I know it's crooked. Hey, Barbara. Again, this is not the tripod I normally use, nor is it what I usually film with. So excuse the fact that it's at an angle where you can't see much things. So again, I was just going to do this without going live, but I thought I'm here. Why not go live? Now you'll see I left the door closed. Let's see if I can do this. What I'll do is, because it's pretty much getting all of it, I'm just gonna open it for a second, get that little lip there, get this lip here, and then I'm gonna gingerly lay it back. It's not gonna close completely. Oh, I lied, it's magnetic. It did close completely. Either way, so what I'll do is after this dries, I will um, go back and touch up what the door is. I know some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, she didn't tape off anything. She didn't do this or that. That's because I am just getting this paint on with the split. This is the base coat. It's not the final coat. So your job is just to enjoy and change it up. Can you see the difference already between this, by the way, is not, um, it's that like shiny laminate overwood. So don't freak out that I'm painting an antique and ruining it because I'm not. This is like, 1960s, 1970s, shiny laminate faux wood over real wood. And so I'm not hurting anything. I'm making it go from boring brown to, I have to make one, mermaid tail bluish green. Again, I'm going to just go ahead and use my mister. You want to use the microfine ones, you can use like a bottle of Windex or something, once you're done, you can add water, use that as a mister, but it makes you have big goblets of water. You definitely want to spend the extra five bucks and get yourself a fine art mister. It makes a huge difference, but if you don't have one, use what you have at home. Use the dollar store mister. Just stand back further when you're spraying your item with the water so that you don't get big, big, big droplets. You want it to be a little bit more of a mist to help the paint glide. Some people use uh, things like Flow Troll and other items you can buy to help the paint glide. But with this chalk paint that Dixieville makes, you just can use water, save yourself a little bit of money. So, again, I know this is like watching what paint dry. <laughs> it can be very boring to watch, but And you'll see because even though this is a large piece, the top part of it doesn't have a lot of surface because of the glass. So it's not gonna take long to get this base coat on. Sorry if you can't hear me, I don't have a microphone. I am standing pretty good far away. Now this China Hutch top does not have on top a drop down. Some of them have an inset. This one actually has like a shelf light. So if you just put ball feet on it and keep it separated from the bottom, you can actually use the top as a shelf. So suggesting, I think this is up about two feet off the air, maybe three. If you set it down and put ball feet on it, you can use it for a kid's room and put all their toys and all their books where they can see them all. And then you can use the top part like a shelf so that you have more storage up there. You can even put a big piece of art up there if it's going in the kid's room. Or if it's going in your room and you're an adult, you could still put books and toys and collectibles 
and you can use a shelf up top for more storage. You could put baskets up there and fill it with stuff and hide your, you know, your supplies, your crafting supplies, so they're kind of hidden and tucked away, yet very easily accessible. All right, base coat on. Didn't take long. I think we're still live. I hope my phone's still up. And I'm just going to quickly do the other side of it, which you can't see because if I move the phone, I'm scared. You're not gonna, I'm scared it's going to stop. It's only going to take me a second, so bear with me. I am just doing the other side like I did when I first started. No smells. I'm just using a tiny bit. I am dipping right into that jar. You could pour it out onto a plate or something else, but I tend to just use the jars. This is what I'm talking about. I'm just dipping straight in. If this was white or a light color, you don't want to cross contaminate if you're using a different color. But even then, I'm pretty good about not cross contaminating. That means putting one like a bright blue into a white and making that little bit of paint contaminated. But I use it because I don't care. I like watercolors. I like oceans. I like bright and cheerful. I like neutrals also, so one or the other. You guys put down your favorite color. You can mention it below. I will try to read the comments later. Again, I'm almost done. So again, this is a big piece. It's a china hutch, but you see how quickly this goes on. I'm using a brush that I've used over a hundred times. Hi, Maria. Thanks for watching. Um, I hate to repeat myself, but I'm not doing this professionally. I'm using a tripod that's sideways. I'm using my phone that has, I think, 19% left. I am in my own store that's closed. I do have a mask. I'm not wearing it right now due to you can't hear me and there's nobody else within 100 feet of me. Brooklyn's out there taking pictures for our website. And then, since there's no smells, I know oftentimes you see people painting and they're wearing this anyway. It's not even with COVID issues. So you don't have to with this paint. And yes, we do sell this paint. If you want some, I can ship it to you in Tallahassee or anywhere in the United States. Okay, real quick. You do not want to go back over this. You want to wait till it completely dries. It's gonna take about 20 minutes with this humidity and the fact that I'm inside. But what I am doing is I still have, hi Cheryl, see how much I have left on here? Ah, uh, thank you Cheryl, that's so sweet. So I have so much left in the brush. This inset, if you were to go over this part like this, because it's not completely dry, it would just pull the paint back off. So you wanna wait until it completely dries, then do your second coat and touch ups. But since I missed this inset and I have extra on my brush, and it's not gonna pull off because I missed it. I'm just gonna really feather it. So that's a light feathering. It's very little pressure. And that way I filled in that real quick. And like here where I missed. With a light feathering, I'm just touching up. All right, so there you go. I don't know how long it took. It doesn't tell me. Thank you. I am going to now try not to get you guys dizzy. Now, see this? This is the bottom part. I know my angle's not good. Again, my phone is probably gonna die shortly. Let me get these things off here. I'm up at the store picking up items to ship off to the buyers who bought stuff from our Instagram, Etsy, and Facebook, and uh, eBay. And so what I'm gonna do, again, this is not real wood. This is the 1960s or 70s style laminate faux wood. I really wish I had my tripod. I'm scared that one is going to stop filming too. Oh, maybe that is going to fall completely. There. All right. These handles, I've got to get to the sides, but because the way it is, you know what? Ah, I can just slide it. So, yes, I am just going to go over everything. I'm going to use the same brush that I just did the top with. I'm going to spray it with my fine mister. I still have paint on here loaded. I'm going to go straight back into the jar. Again, mermaid tail. And then 
I know you can't see it. No, I'll just go ahead and start doing this part because if I do the side, you won't be able to see it off. And this foam is gonna die soon. Because there's little insets, you just turn your brush sideways. I know it's hard to see because of the angle again. Not professionally done. You can see the other ones on YouTube. Just look for the other side vintage on YouTube. There. Just keep turning your brush flat for this part, sideways to get into those insets, and you can flance it out. I don't know what the correct word is. I did not go to art school. You missed the beginning of the video. The paint container. Yes, Cheryl. It is Dixie Belle Mermaid Tail. I don't know if it's going to zoom in on that. Mermaid tail. It's like a, you know, to me, see, I did spray just then a light mist on the actual piece. I'm preparing it. And you'll learn as you go if it's better to brush, uh, spray your brush or the piece. Sometimes I do both, which I just did. I sprayed my brush and the piece. I'm going to be careful because I'm sitting on the gallery floor. I do not have a drop cloth. And the reason why I can do that is because if I drip, just have a wet paper towel handy to pick it up real quick before it dries and you don't have to worry because it's chalk paint it's not going to see like right there there yay see when you guys come in shopping you see a spot on the floor well no it was me <laughs> all right i hate talking hi kate how are you for those who are watching this again is on a very tiny uh tripod that's actually falling apart. It's not my professional tripod. There's no professional lighting. I don't have my microphone on. Um, and I am just painting to get a base coat on so that I can let it dry. It would only need about 20 minutes before I could put another coat, but I'm only going to be here a short bit because you're supposed to be staying home. And technically I'm following that. I just had to come up to our shop to pick up a few things to ship off. And while I'm here, I have to admit my, uh, oh, I'm jonesing to paint. I usually paint at my house and do my lives from there on my YouTube. But since I'm here and this is a huge china cabinet, I didn't have to load it up, take it home. And um, <laughs> thank you, Cheryl. I'm so embarrassed to be doing this. I'm beat red because we don't have the air conditioning on or anything. I am going to paint over this. Now don't yell at me. This handle I'm gonna paint over. Once it dries, if I decide I want to bring it back to that brassy look, it's not real brass, but bring it back, I will just scuff it up with a little bit of sandpaper or use, um, you could take a wet washcloth or a paper towel. Once it completely dries and just called wet distressing, you just lightly buff around it and it'll pull up off the highlights and the lowlights and you can bring it back to be kind of more of a shabby chic thing. So because I can't decide, I'm gonna go ahead and just paint it. I can either remove it completely, even after it's dry, very easily, or let it cure. And if you let it cure for a couple days, then it's definitely on there. So just going with the flow. Sometimes I plan these things out and sometimes I think, I am so bored, I've gotta paint. So I'm like a junkie for painting. So here I am painting in the store on the floor. And if it goes off again, that's because of the Wi-Fi or my personal phone. I'm using my phone to film this and it's got, again, about, I don't know, 13% or so. I hope you guys can see this. I know I've got my leg in the way, but if I don't stretch my leg out, um, I start to seize up. But I sit Indian style a lot, which you're not really supposed to do, but I tend to do that. So I'll take yoga tonight, live from Brandy, Green Eyed Yogi, which is my niece, Brandy, who's in Orlando right now. Tonight at eight, I'll do a little bit of yoga to help stretch out me sitting on the floor. So there you go, see the difference? I mean, I like, I like real wood furniture. I like brown furniture, don't get me wrong. But right now, this will be so colorful and fun. It makes me happy. So I'm just turning my brush every which way, getting onto all these creases. You could just take the handles off of the screwdriver, paint this, and then decide about the handles. But guess what? Didn't bring a screwdriver. Hi, Andrea. Didn't bring a screwdriver. 
don't have the patience right now because you know we're all out of patience so instead of freaking out about it I just said you know what I'm gonna paint over the handles and then I can pull it back if I don't like it take it off buff it in a different color whatever I decide to do so in the meantime I'm just gonna paint right over it no harm no foul I'm gonna put my brush between kind of flounce it out this is the Dixie Bell mini brush. I use it pretty much, I would say about 90% of the time. I have a Dixie Bell oval medium also. You can see I've only used this a couple times. Hi Pete, it was so good to see you this morning, Pete. This is what I'm doing, Pete. I'm gonna get a base coat on here while I'm here picking up stuff. Um, Pete is from the Crumbbox Glass Garden. He is our neighbor at River Square across the street. And please check him out and order some food to go. He can put it in your trunk. You can curbside pick up. There's all kinds of options. But support Pete. He, um, I call it Pete's Meat. <laughs> He's going to get sick of me saying that. Because he also has a lot of vegetarian options. Um, but it's called the Crumb Box. There. Okay. Again, I'm using my cell phone. It's going to die soon. I'm using a tripod. Let me just move this over. I'm repeating myself a lot because I'm nervous. Nervous because I know you guys are going, what is she doing? Okay, I'm spraying my brush again. I'm still using the same brush. Jackie Earnheit. Hi, spoons. Okay, Jackie, sorry. You came up on my phone. Um, Jackie is doing a trunk side pickup. She bought some spoons from us, and she is opting to pick them up. I told her we would be up here today, and we can put them right in her trunk. She's already paid for, and she can pop the trunk from inside her car. She doesn't have to come in. Let's see if I can move this. Oop, there. Okay. I'm blocking the view. Again, I don't have my regular tripod. All right, I'm gonna scream. Ignore me. Brooklyn! Normally I would text Brooklyn and say the lady's here, she's outside, but uh, I'm using that phone. All right, because I don't know if Brooklyn heard me. I'm gonna hold on. See, you just use the cap to put your thing and you set it down. I'll be right back. I know this is rude when we're shooting the live, but I've got to go tell Brooklyn. Right, you guys, I had to go on the front porch and tell Brooklyn that Jackie's on the stairs of the spoons. Please respond soon. Jackie, I'm live. I can't respond. <laughs> oh my gosh, how embarrassing. I wonder if she's asking for here. Jason, if you're listening, can you please respond to Jackie and let her know that we are here and we do have our spoons? Okay, I'm almost done and then I can answer Jackie. That's the only thing, see? Hence why you don't use your phone. No one is here, Brooklyn. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like so comical. The one time I'm using my phone and someone wants to pick something up. Thank you, Jason. Okay, Jason is telling me that he saw the message. He's going to answer her. Let her know, Jason, that we are here, that we are prepared for her pickup. We have our mask on. We'll come out and just put it in her trunk. She just has to pop her trunk, and we will literally put it in her trunk, and she can drive away without even leaving her car. And we washed our hands, and we washed the items, and... Everything's paid, so all she has to do is pop a trunk, and we're there. All right, you guys, what a cluster, right? How amazing is live feeds when you can't plan this stuff? Okay, I've been using the same brush. I'm going to try sending my son 20 minutes away. Is that okay? Yes, Jackie. If you're watching, Jackie, that is quite okay. When you pull up, we'll note you because we only have one 
pick up today, which is you. And uh, we appreciate it, by the way. Okay, I'm going to stand up. Let's see if I can do this while it's dropping the foam. Now, I got to do the top. Can I film? Ah, let me see if I can scoot this back. There, now. So professional, aren't we? Not. Can you see now? There's the top that I did first. And there is the bottom. First coat. Oh, I wish I could see. How can I do this where it won't fall down? This is so much fun. This is the craziest stuff I've had to deal with. Okay, wait. There. But now the tripod just decided not to stand up. Okay. Thank you, Mitch, for saying hi and Sandy. I'll be right back. I have to go tell Brooklyn something. I am painting live while we're closed. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. That's so rude. stop she's on her way 20 minutes away yes yes hi regina okay so i've been painting you see the top's not done jason i can't read <laughs> while i'm filming all right you guys so i'm still gonna just do a quick coat on top so i can answer a client we're just again we're not open today he's on the way support local business thank you jackie we really appreciate you doing that jackie bought something she saw on instagram and paid for it, and then she's sending her son now to pick it up. He's gonna again pop the trunk. We have our mask. Um, we're gonna wash our hands and pop the trunk. Hi, Jackie. Jackie is from Curio, and if you guys know Railroad Square, which you should, then you know Jackie's uh, store, Curio. She's also online at CurioGoods.com, I believe it is. Please shop with Jackie and support her during this time. If my phone dies, Jackie and Regina and Mitch, it's because I'm filming with my cell phone. It only has a little bit left. I am painting now the top of this. This is a china hutch. This is the bottom. That's the top that I did first. Thinking about separating them and making them into two different pieces. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to paint the top, which means I'm going to get in the way. I'm using my Dixie Belle mermaid tail. We do sell this, but also I'm just doing this because if I don't paint, I'll go crazy. And the only reason I'm here at the store is because we, one, have a pickup. Yes, Jason, she's sending her son. Oh my gosh. Using my phone is like crazy because people are messaging, but it's the same. I can't respond to him. So Jason's answering them. I'm getting like three different answers back and forth. All right, let's see if I can do this backwards and while sitting down. So I'm just going to put this on the top. Again, I just wipe these down. I use vinegar with water and then if there's any oily spots or fingerprints or stuff, I can use a little bit of Dawn with water and then I wipe it down. You can use the white lightning or other products like TSP. I, I know this isn't great to say, I prefer just to use natural vinegar or Dawn because I think it works best. You always have that around and it only takes a few minutes and it does the job just as good as the expensive stuff. So. You can buy the white lightning that we have from Dixie Belle, or you can just use what you have. You don't always have to use the most expensive. Sometimes what you already have is best, especially nowadays. And by the way, if you're at home and you're just painting, let us know. Send us a picture of what you're working on, or if you're, you know, working on a book, or if you're anything you're doing creative, you're making music. All right, I just dripped. This stuff is really thick. It doesn't usually drip, but I slung. I'm trying to get done fast and I just pick it up with a uh, wet washcloth so um paper towel sorry again I'm able to paint in the store because we're closed I would have normally taken this piece home to paint at home but instead of loading it and it being so big I'm just gonna use a mister to get a little bit more of a little bit of the water there a little bit of my brush again same brush I've been using the whole time 
um, I decided just to do it while I was here, picking up that stuff to ship off and for that lady to pick up. So I'm going to stand up and be in the way. Sorry. Excuse my walking the camera. I am not a videographer or a film person. I'm breaking the rule. I know I'm standing right in the way. All right. Let me get the coat on there. I'm almost done. So within like 20, 30 minutes, we're going to have this whole thing first coated. I'm going to let it dry overnight just because I'm not going to be up here. Otherwise, you can only let it dry for 20 minutes to an hour, depending on the humidity and if you're inside or outside painting. And then I'm going to put another coat and possibly a third coat. Then I can decide if I'm going to blend it with another color, like a darker blue, a lighter blue, white, whatever you decide. The whole idea is just to get the first coat on. See, if I had left, which I almost did, but I was jonesing the paint, this wouldn't be done. And look, look how much we got done just sitting here. All right, I'm gonna do the side, which you guys can't see. I'm going to see if I can. I know this is the boring part. I'm gonna paint the side that you can't see, which is kind of silly, because why do a live if you can't see what I'm working on? I don't think I can move it all the way. So you can see it, so I'm just gonna get at it real quick because this is just the boring side. I'm gonna spray it down, spray and brush, and there we go. So I will have this whole piece with the base coat on it before I leave. Meet the client who's picking up their item, trunk side, meaning we're not even gonna have any contact. We're gonna pop the trunk and we're gonna put their item in the trunk. I'm gonna pick up the dresses and the such that the collectibles that we sold on Etsy and eBay and Instagram. Ship those off today, so they're going straight to people all throughout the United States, including uh, Tallahassee. Some people opted just to have us ship it instead of curbside pickup, since we're closed officially for the governor's orders, not closed like permanently, just for these 30 days. All right, and this was fun. I needed this. Sorry, you guys. I took advantage. I had my phone. I was just going to paint in silence, but I thought, hey, I'll turn on the live. I'm going to touch up this one here since I'm down here. I know you can't see. There's a, a little bit on the bottom of this china hutch top that I missed. And since I'm standing here and I'm about to rinse out this brush, I may as well get it on there. Ta-da! Okay, I'm going to do the other side, um, which you also can't see. And then I'm going to take this brush get off as much of the paint as I can by just feathering it. And then I'm simply gonna wipe this down in the sink because it's low VSC, no uh, toxic, all natural uh, items. Oh, this frame almost hit me. So it's not gonna do any damage to your pipes. I'm gonna wash it down the sink and I'm gonna let it air dry in here so that tomorrow when I come back up, I can add another coat and blend it or add some darker blues or a lighter blue to make it more oceany or leave it as is. It just depends on how I feel. As it hits me, the mood strikes me, what color it becomes and what it looks like. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. I'm going to finish the other side. It's the only part you're not going to see. Um, I would wear my mask, but it was just because of Corona, not because of the smells. The paint doesn't smell at all. Thank you for watching. I know this is boring watching someone paint, but thank you for letting me be entertained and, uh, Know that other people are out there and I hope y'all are all well and safe. Stay home. The more you stay at home, the better and we'll get through this quicker. Yes, I'm up here, but I'm here with my sister Brooklyn who's 100 feet away just picking up items. So and we're going straight back to our homes, washed our hands, washed everything. So thank you for watching. Stay safe. Um, read a book, make some music, watch Netflix. Watch the Tiger King. Oh my gosh. Don't even get me started. Or the West Memphis 3. I watch ID Channel all my life. West Memphis 3 or Tiger King. You can't go wrong with those two. You'll have tons of things to talk about with your friends and go, what did I just watch? So watch it and let me know what you think.